Hello, I'm Cothrix, and today I'll be talking about Estaka. I try to start off my reviews with the good things, but I have nothing good to say about this game. I suppose if I really wanted to stretch, the music isn't entirely offensive. Everything else is. The best way for me to start explaining why is to simply go by the order in which I experience things. First, the controls. They're terrible. The game wants to be a platformer, but has no controller support, and you won't be able to use a controller anyway because the use of the mouse is required to manipulate objects in the environment. So have fun platforming with WASD. Combat in the game is handled through one primary attack. Right-clicking on the mouse will have your character stab with a spear, and until you find some upgrades in the game, you can't attack things below you, above you, or anywhere but directly in front of you. You have some spells, but their use is limited and the mechanic for casting them is kind of dumb. It's just a short clicking quick time event. There's really no story to speak of. You're told to collect seven golden MacGuffins. The main antagonist has one, so go kill him because he's evil. So, you'll progress through very linear, boring areas until you find them. Now this game is tagged as a Metroidvania on Steam, but I feel like it barely qualifies as one. The flat, boring, repetitive areas only have a few branching paths or sides to explore. Eventually, you'll reach a point in the game where it flat out tells you, go find an item to progress. And this is where most of your game time will go, padding back and forth through boring areas, trying to find some little secret to get that next key item that will allow you to access the next area. This isn't good design. Items necessary for the game's progression need to be given to the players. There can be walls in the way, such as bosses or puzzles, but they need to be in plain sight. It's fine to have well-hidden upgrades, like health boosts or pieces of equipment, as long as they aren't necessary for completing the game. When you hide an item necessary for the game's progression and don't give adequate clues on finding it, the game stagnates. There's nothing more frustrating than running back through every town for the fifth time, once again talking to every NPC available, just trying to find some clue as to where to go next. And that's exactly what Estaka does, multiple times. This isn't fun or engaging, it's headache inducing and made me want to quit. Eventually I broke down and had to look at a guide to finish the game. In short, the game is tedious but that isn't its worst quality. The game is too easy. Easy in every way conceivable. You have three stats you can raise whenever you level up. Damage, crit rate, or defense. Like any responsible gamer, I went full damage and was never punished for it. You'll also find consumables that permanently raise stats, and later a merchant that sells them infinitely. Early on, the game tricks you by giving you the option of leveling up your special abilities or Aztec Ascendancy. Upgrading special abilities will make them better, while Aztec Ascendancy will allow you to equip better gear. Never upgrade your abilities, because there is only one that matters, the Spin Attack. Once you get it, it's the only ability worth using. If ridiculously high stats didn't make the game easy enough, you also have the ability to heal yourself fairly often. If that wasn't enough, there's an ability fairly early that gives you constant health regeneration. It's not like you'll need it though, because the enemies are fairly stupid, for the most part. Is the game easy enough yet? How about that ability that makes you resurrect on death? Though I don't know why you'd need it, because there's no penalty for death. Dying means nothing. You'll start back a short distance from where you died. Enemies in the room don't even reset on death. Bosses don't even reset on death. This makes all bosses a complete joke. In fact, dying on a boss is the most efficient way to beat it because it resets your mana, allowing you to cast more spells. If you bother using spells in the first place. The game is too easy. The thing with easy is that it likes to get around. Everyone wants some easy once in a while. Now no judgments on easy's lifestyle, but when you get with easy, it's just not meaningful. It's fun for that short 20 minutes or so, but it won't bring you any fulfillment. And easy has a sibling named boring, and if you spend too much time with easy, you'll start to get to know boring. Boring just isn't fun to be around. Pretty soon, you'll be just like boring, because all you can talk about is Pebble Quest. Or Estaka in this case. So in short, don't buy Estaka. I wonder if the developers had bigger dreams or ambitions for this game and maybe just ran out of money. Or they had no idea how to make a decent game, so they just went down a checklist of game things and threw them in on top of a bunch of flat levels. The game took me about 7 hours to complete, at a price of $10, so at least it's not too pricey. If you're a big fan of Aztec culture and like easy, boring, tedious games, you might like Aztaca. Otherwise, stay away. Hey, I tried a few new things in this video, so tell me what you think in the comments. Anyway, I'm Cothrix, and thanks for watching.